Oh my god, that is so pretty. That is so pretty. Ooh. Oh. You know what? They will not know how to hit them. This is so gorgeous. And it's sparkly. Mm. Let me know how you guys feel about it. But let's get them off because they're messing with the look. The look. You know what I mean? This is way too dressy for what I'm wearing today. But you guys can see how pretty they are. Oh shoot. They're not coming off. No. They're really settled on there. They are not coming off. No, they are. It's just the nails. Never mind. Hello lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I don't think that I have everything here because stuff, some stuff I've already started using. And then I thought to myself, like, what's the point? You buy something and then like, you're like, okay, I'll share it when I'm gonna film. And then it's like, no, but I, I wanna use it now. So here we are. Anyway, so let's start with the jewelry that I've been buying lately. I've been into lab grown diamonds. They're more affordable, but I wanted to try their longevity. Also to see also if they really look good. Like if they look good, like, you know what I mean? I'm gonna buy it. And obviously I love designer jewelry. Some pieces that really stand out. I don't think I have ever shared with you my Chanel jewelry collection because not that I have a bunch of stuff, like I don't have a, a lot, but I have some really nice pieces that I find like are more like vintage looking. So I've got these YSL hoops um, that I have not worn because my intention is to change the back and make it like a metal, like a, so that I can put it inside the hole instead of it being a clip. Gotta get that done. And I love gold, so. And these jelly-like earrings from Chanel. So I love these. And again, I also want these to not be clip-ons because they're vintage and I guess they used to make a lot of clip-ons back then. But anyway, I want them to be, you know, the ones that you can put inside the ear hole thing, the piercing. So I love these because I worry that they'll come off and fall off somewhere and then I lose them. Oh my God, that would be so painful. But look inside these, they're like a shoe, a CC, anyway, really pretty. And I've already shown you guys these before, but these are also really nice vintage Chanel earrings. Anywho, on jewelry. So that's the type of jewelry I like. Um, statement pieces. This is my Pandora bracelet that I have unboxed before. And I needed some charms on it. I do like the fact that it's simple, but I just thought mm, maybe a few charms won't hurt and I can take the charms out and yeah, if I want to go completely simple, I can take the charms out. But for a more, you know, extra type of look, I want some charms. Ordered these from Pandora. So yeah, that's how the charms come. They say made in Thailand. Like, is anything made in Australia? Like anything at all? I just gifted my mom a Pandora bracelet. This is, I can't remember what this is, a chicken? That's one. And she really liked her bracelet cause hers was rose gold and it was more of like a cuff. She doesn't have any charms on it yet because I didn't buy any charms, but I'm hoping everybody from my family, like every time it's, you know, it's time to get her a gift, they buy her a charm as well. You know, that symbolizes something really special so that she has a collection of charms from everybody. These are more charms in this box here. This is a monkey charm. 
<laughs> they all symbolize something on the website. I can't remember what each one symbolizes, but the message behind each charm was really special. So that's why I decided to, to buy these particular ones. And they're either gold coated because I'm into gold, so I wanted all gold charms. There's also the Shine collection that isn't real gold, but the gold look, gold coated. And this is supposed to be a horse. Is this a horse? Something, something. So these are the charms I've got on there now. How cute. Okay. So that's kind of the look right now. It's kind of cute. It's all right. Like it's cute. Hey, anywho, yeah, just these LV hoops. These are the large size ones. You guys know I already have the smaller sized ones, but they just looked so good on especially with my hair braided like this you know let me know if you like this look because you guys don't know this but sometimes i braid my hair in between the next video do you know what i mean and you guys don't know that i've had my hair braided all week type of thing i even had like twist braids at some point and then yeah anywho so these are the earrings and they're really nice they're a nice look and I'm thinking of getting the silver ones but we'll see um, they are not cheap like seriously these are from eBay these are the cutest thing okay oh let me show you <laughs> they've got BB at the top for Balenciaga and then even the back itself has like BB type of it's just so cute I don't know if you guys can see this or not but anyway look at that that is just it's cute anywho these are gold as well and they say Balenciaga at the back and they just look so adorable and I love them they're hot and yeah i can't wait to wear them this is a diamond ring and it looks like this how pretty is that like this is for my dressy days obviously but i don't know how many carats this is but it's like a yellow diamond diamond stone this is real gold um, and it's pretty. Oh, I'll keep it on because it's pretty. I also got, oh, it's got a polishing cloth as well. You will love these. So next time I go on an event, these are the earrings I'll be wearing. I hope you can see that. Um, and I know you're probably thinking, why don't you try them on? Let me try them on. Oh my god, that is so pretty. That is so pretty. Ooh. Oh. You know what? They will not know how to hit them. This is so gorgeous. And it's sparkly. Mm. Let me know how you guys feel about it. But let's get them off because they're messing with the look. The look. You know what I mean? This is way too dressy for what I'm wearing today. But you guys can see how pretty they are. Oh shoot, they're not coming off. No, they're really settled on there. They are not coming off. No, they are, it's just the nails, Never mind. 
Let me know what your favorite item is in this video. Yeah. I buy random stuff all the time. Like, like I'm just so random, you know? Um, let's move on to a little bit of skincare, like a little bit, because I've already started using some stuff already, but I'll show you what I haven't opened yet. This is the, my squalene cleanser from The Ordinary. Um, I use this when the day, that day I would have worn makeup and I want to double cleanse. If you don't know what double cleansing is, let's save that conversation for another day. But anyway, um, because this one is nice and oily, so it helps break down any makeup that's left on my face. And then after washing this off, I use my normal face cleanser. This is great for removing makeup. After you've removed makeup, then you wash with this. Then you use your other normal daily cleanser. Hope that makes sense. But anyway, I like this. So I bought another one. This is the third time I'm purchasing this. Not like I wear makeup all the time, but the point is sometimes you just, you know, put a little bit of concealer under the eye when you know you didn't get a good sleep the night before. You know, you don't want dark circles or whatever. And when I got sick, I got pimples. So I don't know if you guys can see, like I've got a spot there and I've got a spot there. And so I've been trying to, you know, cover it up. Not. But can I just tell you, I actually like having that. I don't know why, but some for some reason, I don't mind having those two little spots there. But um, sometimes I just, you know, put a, put a pot on top. So then I have to cleanse my face properly at the end of the day um, to wash off any excess makeup left on my face. So anyway, moving on, I've got this Nutramedics Nourishing Mask. Um, I'm yet to use it still sealed um, but yeah it's just a face mask so we'll see how it goes it's got apricot kernel oil and moringa butter none of these products are sponsored or anything you guys I bought these by myself for myself and just random random completely random okay so I use this once or twice weekly after weekly after cleansing and toning Put a generous layer on my face and avoid eyes and the mouth. Leave on for 10 to 15 minutes and uh, massage in any excess or remove with your neutral. Really interesting. Anyway, at the moment I'm using a face moisturizer. You know what? Let's do a skincare thing another day. Okay. So that's a face mask from Nutramedics. And then when I bought some giveaway stuff from Sephora, I also bought this pore mask for myself. So this is Ole Henriksen. This is a really popular one. So I want to try that. It's just a face mask. And if you missed that giveaway, don't worry. I've got another one coming up soon. And yes, it'll be really, really great. And obviously the rules won't be as, you know, hard as the last one. Because y'all said the rules were hard. So I don't know. Um... This is a moisturizing body satin with apricot kernel oil as well. This is from Nutramedics. So I guess I spray this on my skin. It's just, it's just a nice oil. Moisturizing sheen. Nothing, it doesn't smell anything too weird or anything too special. I don't know if you guys can see that, but anyway, I plan on using this other, like when I'm wearing a more open, um top or dress and then just spray it and rub it in on my decolletage so that you know there's a nice sheen and it looks good so that's that's the goal with that i also got another um face cream this is from the platinum ultra care selection by nutramedics and yeah their products are a little bit expensive but I like them. I can't say I'm a sneakerhead. I'm not. I just see something I like and then I want it. Um, but I don't go all out for sneakers. I'm more of a heels type of girl or sandals, you know. New Balance. These are maybe a half size up from my normal size. Because they're sneakers, I thought that would be okay. But they were selling out, so then I just got them. Um, and they match this set 
of a hoodie and trackies, like a track suit from Boohoo that I bought. It's somewhere, so I can't go get it right now. But anyway, um, the colors are similar to that. And these are the shoes. Like, I have not even tried them on and I hope they look good, but I'm a bit nervous. But anyway, I'll only be able to wear these with certain colors because this red, this maroon red is kind of extra. But anyway, let me know if you know about these shoes and if you own them. They come in different colors, but because they were on discount, I think that's why I chose this particular color because they were on sale. This looks like a huge foot. This is US 7 and I think I'm a 5. Okay, that's too big. I don't know what I was thinking. Let me know in the comment section if you like something like this or if you're interested in these types of things, but like... I don't know what was going through my mind. For some reason, I thought it wouldn't be that big, but I think my foot ends kind of here, literally. Um, anyway. Let's put my phone here for a second. These sandals. I went window shopping with my mother <laughs> and we saw these sandals and I tried them on and she said, they look amazing on you. So I had to get them. Um, and as you know, when I like something, I have to get it in every color. So I got these in black as well. These are nice. Look at these. So these are size 5, which is size 38 in European sizes. But yeah, this is basically it. And I have this really nice blue dress that I thought would go really well with these. So just like the last shoes I just showed you, same brand, same style. Um, this one is more satin. Blacks are more satin. And yeah, with the silver heel. Same style, but you know, different material. This one is more like a, a shiny leather. Um, yeah, and this is more like satin, black and silver. Same design at the front. And look at the heel. Isn't it cute with the silver? Oh, okay, more jewelry. Okay. This is a certificate of authenticity and warranty as well. Anyway. These are from Secrets. This is a lab-grown diamond earring. It's two carat, from what I remember. And I'll have to buy the chain separately, but that's basically how it looks. So it came from Secrets, and this is the box. Obviously the ribbon was on there. Neatly, um, I like the color. It's like a champagne gold. And this is how the bag comes. They also gave me a booklet of their jewelry collection for 2022. Then I got the envelope with the certificate of warranty. A thank you card. Um, congratulations on your ownership and then a booklet of their latest collection of jewelry and this all arrived in this white box here honestly when the box arrived I was like what is this obviously when you buy something expensive they don't want to show where you bought the item from in case of theft and things like that you know they don't want to attract so that's why the packaging is usually very simple when you buy expensive stuff um, I'm loving this bracelet and that's what I got in the last I want to say a week and a half but I don't know I went into Zara and I purchased three fragrances this is Ember Fusion Eau de Parfum, an intense and opulent creation, noble rich woods infused by overdose of ember. So that's it there. And it was $39.95 Australian.
this smelled like very feminine and embery. So I love these bottles and they're white at the top here. This is a clean embery scent. So I really like this actually. Um, I do recommend it for everyday wear, okay? Classy, nice. I wouldn't have bought it if I, if I didn't like it, but anyway. Next scent is Rose Gourmand. Eau de Parfum Feminine and Empowered, a fresh rose elevated by the luscious jewel of vanilla and tonka. These are all 80 mils, $39.95 Australian dollars, so not too bad. Okay, this is lovely. Oh. Zara fragrances are not only affordable, okay? I'm not sponsored, but I'm just saying, you guys know this, I've been saying this. And they duplicate famous either designer or niche perfumes. This smells like, this rose gourmand smells like something that I either already own or have smelled somewhere that smells really expensive. So I'll need to figure out what exactly it smells like and then next time I'll come back and let you guys know. This is Twilight Mauve from Zara, $25.95, 90 mils, different packaging. Look at this beautiful pink purple color. Oh. Wow. Wow, this smells like my favorite shower gel. Anyway, love this. If you're in on the lookout for, I think Masara, one of my subscribers commented saying, like go on, try some Zara scents so you can recommend some to, to us because we know you're gonna recommend something good. Thank you girl, and I did. So at the moment, I'm really liking Twilight Mauve and Ember Fusion, go try that and Rose Gourmand by Zara, okay? Trust me, you'll like it. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Which item did you like the best? I did throw in some fragrances in there, of course, because this is a fragrance channel. But I also hope that you can check out my other channel, which is called More Viva Glaze and i will be posting different type of content over there including unboxings as well because you know your girl shops okay videos will be coming out now that my voice is back you guys know i was sick like literally i had do you guys need to know this but i had influenza right and i had tonsillitis so i had no voice i was on antibiotics i was on panadin ford pain stuff I was also on like antiseptic nasal, I mean throat spray, that's what it was. And I was just, no voice, I was mute. Do you know how hard that is to not be able to talk and communicate? Like I have been so grateful for wellness, good health. When you go without or when you've been in pain or when you've been unwell, you just appreciate being able to do things without thinking, you know, like talking. It was so frustrating not being able to communicate. But anyway, I'm better now. Obviously my voice is better, is back. I can talk, so I've been filming. And so let me know you guys, um, how many videos you like a week is it once? Is it enough? Or is it twice a week? Is that enough? Like, I don't know. Yeah, I just wanna see where your mind is regarding the content that I put out. Do you also like these unboxings and bag reviews, things like that? Because I feel like they should go on the other channel. If not, let me know. Let me know what you think, because I'm curious. How have you guys been? Let me know as well, because is it, everybody's feel, getting sick lately because it's just the season, you know? So it's always something after another. Corona, now influenza, now. Anyway. Stay healthy, exercise, eat well. Life is fragile. So yeah, thank you again.
Bye.